Greetings everybody from Northern Germany. We're just off the coast of the city of Kiel uh, in the German state of Schleswig-Holstein. <laughs> I got to love the German names. And we're getting ready to go through the Kiel Canal. Now off to my left flank is the Baltic Sea. And we're going to enter this canal here at Kiel and go through it. It's about 61 miles long. And we're going to end up at the mouth of the river Elbe on the other side, actually there where it's the confluence of the North Sea. So we're going to cut off the entire Jutland Peninsula, which is basically Denmark, all that way. Now, why would we uh, do this? Well, it saves time, obviously. It's going to save us about 250 nautical miles in travel. Well, that doesn't seem like that much. What's the big deal? That's true, uh, but Time is money and fuel costs money as well. So it is a big time saving, but also you get to bypass the stormy seas that occur when you go around the top of Denmark into the North Sea. It's uh, historically famous for stormy seas. So you take the weather out of the equation too. This canal, the Keogh Canal, is AKA the Kaiser Wilhelm Canal, uh, named not for the guy who commissioned it and built it and launched it, that was Kaiser Wilhelm II. And this canal opened up, officially launched by him, in 1895. It was named for his predecessor, Kaiser Wilhelm I, but they, after World War II, they didn't want to name anything after Kaisers or anybody else, so they just named it the Kiel Canal. So this is a really hugely important canal. Uh, the At the time, the Kaiser and others uh, wanted to bypass Denmark altogether to have this very important strategic military and economic canal that's in, contained entirely within Germany so they could bypass Denmark, save time and money, but also bypass a possible political enemy. Uh, but in today's world, it's really economic uh, uh, canal still. I think in their literature they say it's the most traversed canal in the world. It seems like the Panama or the Suez would beat them, but they say about 45 to 50,000 different ships go through this every year. That's a lot. So it's a kind of a big deal. We're gonna go through it. We're gonna time lapse this whole sucker so you see what is going on. We're actually gonna go through German countryside on our way from Kiel across the Jutland Peninsula at its the most narrow point and end up in Brunsbüttel on the other side in the North Sea on the River Elbe where then we're gonna kind of turn around real quick and head to Hamburg. 